It's a true story made by the three of us. We're all best friends, and um, Neve is the subject of the film, and it's about a very unusual Facebook relationship that he got into over the course of nine months and corresponded with a family in Michigan um, and ended up falling in love with the oldest daughter in this family, a very beautiful girl named Megan. And we started picking up footage just along the way, very casually, and then one day the story totally changed and we realized that we were on track for making something completely different. Her sister Megan is an artist and also a dancer, but she isn't making as much art or only shared this paint picture with me because I think she's a big crush on me. And so when I put that, made that my Facebook profile picture, she really liked it and told me how like nice it was and that she thought how nice it would be to put her head on my chest and fall asleep. The relationship between the three of us played a really crucial role in the film. Sometimes when I watch it, I, I almost feel like it's a documentary as much about us as brothers and Henry as our best friend as it is about a nine-month sort of online romance. I guess there's something about immediate access that is more possible these days because of technology than ever before if you're into shooting documentaries. And it kind of comes down to equipment. I mean, on a very rudimentary level, our cameras are very small. A lot of the film was shot on pocket-sized HD cameras the size of a wallet. And that allowed us to always have them around. Each of us keeps one in our pockets. Batteries charged, memory cards clear, in case something happens. Hey, Megan? Yeah. Hey, it's Neve. Hi, how are you? Your voice is not at all what I expected. No, not in, no, it's, 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 uh, really, it's a terrific voice. I just, I don't know, I, I guess you never really think of a voice when you only know somebody in a certain way. This relationship that Neve had was made possible by Facebook and by Gmail and chatting and Google Maps. And in a similar way, the making of the film was, was made possible by this cultural thing that's going on with YouTube where we've gotten more used to shooting ourselves and thinking that the best story might be the one that's sitting right next to you. Touching every interview. <laughs> We've been screening it around the country and a lot of people identify with the story. As crazy as the story is, it turns out a lot of people have similar experiences and they experience them the same way, which is through their computers. And in an effort to connect with people, you almost isolate yourself even further from a real connection. So you're full on going out? I guess I don't know that much about her. I don't really want her getting hurt. I'm not getting hurt. It's kind of a dark film. I guess it's sort of a twisted human drama, but we fought really hard to make sure it had a PG-13 rating because it's important that teenagers see the film because there are a lot of lessons to be learned from a life in the digital age. What I'm hoping people come away with after they see this movie is, you know, for every 500 friends you have on Facebook, one best friend who lives down the street is way more valuable. This is it. This is it. Just pull up. You want to drive into the driveway? Yeah. What are you crazy? What do you mean? Drive into the driveway. What do you mean? Don't, Don't back into it. Why not? Because then we can't see what's in front of us. I'm a little scared. This place gives me creeps. Let's go.